So this old gal we've gotten it to turn over. Yeah, that doesn't look too good. Not really holding on. Maybe if it grabs a pillow and keeps dreaming. It's like little tickles up my arm. I'm gonna hit it. Ow! Yucky. Now in the last video, we pulled it out of a barn. Now a couple months later, we're back here. We're gonna be trying to get her started. We're gonna try to drive her home. We'll have a nearly a hundred mile drive home. This old girl hasn't been on the road in about 30 years. Uh, we'll look in the glove box. I do remember there being something in there that we can look at, but this should be a lot of fun. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick walk around of her and then uh, we'll get started. So this old gal, she's got a six cylinder under the hood. It is freed up. We've gotten it to turn over, uh, but we haven't gotten it to start. She hasn't started in about 30 years. Hopefully today we'll change that. Got some flat tires. We're gonna have to be taking care of that. Coming around inside this old gal, um, down there is where the battery goes. I believe we got three speed. Got the clutch down there. And uh, some kind of aftermarket seat. Looks to be in pretty good shape. There's Pops. Hey. We got a pretty pretty gnarly rat's nest underneath here. So look at what I found. Found the trim rings for the headlights. I thought they were gone. Oh, well, look at that. The seat. Found the trim rings for the headlights. And uh, it's got some kind of skeleton right there. Uh, and uh, a fuel pump. Like a fuel pump. Remember what happened last time you climbed in the truck? Yeah, last time I climbed in here, a rat came after me. Got a distributor cap, some lights, old flashlight. Voltage reducer for use as six volt accessories on a 12 volt system. So uh, I'm assuming this is 12 volts then. Uh, got an envelope. Do you want to open that real fast? Oh, he's opening that. We'll keep checking in here. It looks like just bolts and uh, Loctite. A rotor cap. Okay, so this one envelope is vehicle registration. Florida registration, last date, expires 6-23 of 79. So the last time this one was, <laughs> the last time this old girl was on the road was 1979. Holy crap, so 40-something years then. Yeah, so I was, uh, I was 11 years old then. <laughs> oh. Alright, this was a vehicle safety inspection. They used to do those in Florida. And this was, at the time the odometer was 54,686 miles. Um, Is that 56,000? This was January 24, 79 was when it had this vehicle safety inspection. She's been off the road for a little bit. Insurance card from 79. Oh, that's the other turn signal from the front that's missing too. Sweet. So that's good. That's a good thing. So the end goal of the day is to hopefully drive this old gal home. Uh, main problem is tires because it's New Year's. So if we aren't able to get them, we're going to have to come back. I'm pretty confident that we can get this old gal to run. I don't think it's going to take too much, but she has been off the road for 40 years. So you never know. We're going to the bed. Got our factory flat bed. Well, there are duels underneath it. She's a little rusted out, but not too bad. And uh, we do have James with us. So these tires are in rough shape. Definitely gonna have to replace them. Now, when we were pulling this old gal out, front and the rear brakes were both locked up. And uh, that's what gave us such a hard time trying to get her out. Hopefully if we can get her running, we can help use the, the engine a little bit to break them loose, but uh, we'll get there when we get there. We got some kind of storage compartment right here. Looks like we got generator, uh, something, a cover around the engine or something, flywheel or something. Flywheel cover or something. And then uh, changing our tires. All right, so we know this old gal's freed up. Motor turns over nice and easy. 
We're gonna hook a battery up to it. It's probably 12 volts. So we got our Rule King battery with us. We're gonna check for spark and fuel and then get going from there. All right. Trusty Rule King battery here. Uh, it looks like our battery tray down here has basically gave up on us. Not really holding on. Maybe if it grabs a pillow and keeps dreaming, but uh, until then, uh, we'll still set her down in there just to get her started, but you're gonna have to figure out some kind of solution if we get this bad boy rolling down the road. I think this one's our negative. Looks like it's hooked up to the transmission, so probably. Throw a pair of device grips on them bad boys. Get a good connection, and uh, well, then we should be able to get rolling. Eddie always said you want your electrical connections vice grip tight, so. There we go. All right. Now we should be able to turn it over. We've turned it over with the starter before, but that's about all we've done. It had oil before. Let's go ahead and double check the oil real fast before we do anything. Yeah, this oil still looks good. Good enough for me, man. Check this coolant out real quick. As expected. Bone dry. Bone dry. That's all right. Uh, damp. We got a water hose. Now we don't have a coil, but luckily we brought one. And uh, looks like we're missing one of our wires to our distributor cap. Hopefully we find that too. So before we go any further, I just want to make sure that this starter actually works. Uh, so real fast moment of truth. Right down there is a starter right there. So we're going to hit it. Hopefully she don't get stuck. Well, I just heard a zap from the battery, so it must have a bad connection. So we ain't getting anything from the starter right now. This battery's fully charged. It's making a good connection to the actual starter with the kick down. Um, so I'm going to take a wire, a wire brush and, or some sandpaper and clean off these connections. Hopefully give it another shot. These are, uh, Got crud all over them. Hopefully that's gonna give us some luck. If not, uh, well, we'll keep working from there. All right, I just got them two bad boys cleaned up. Vice grips are back on it. Time to try it again. Just cleaned her up with a wire brush. That wire brush, that was a pain in the butt. So, moment of truth now. Let's see if she's gonna turn over for us. Hey. <laughs> all right, all right. She turns over slow, but she turns over good. She's good in there. You can see the fan turn. Yeah. All right. What do you think, Daddy? I think we're going to need more juice on that battery. Yeah, the battery sounds a little bit low. Uh, not going to lie, I wasn't on the eight ball with charging this bad boy, so uh, she's been used a couple times. That's all right, though. I brought a charger. Come kind of prepared. Doing any, anything like this is kind of hard because you can only pack so many tools and everything, but, you know, we make do. You guys can see that bracket for the coil. We ain't got a coil. Uh, that's not really the part that I'm concerned about. We brought a coil with us, came prepared. Uh, we're missing this wire right here from the, the coil to the distributor cap. And uh, well, about to go on a wild goose chase looking for it. So I'm looking around this engine bay. I'm not seeing it anywhere. Um, I'm gonna double check the cab in the bed real fast. Uh, if it ain't there, I think we're gonna start scavenging. Right here is candidate number one. Hopefully she's got a wire for us. Things falling apart on me while I'm trying to lift it. All right. All right, she's up. Got a flathead six in it. Look over there at the, where the distributor is gonna be. It's gonna be somewhere on that side. Need the middle plug. Uh, yeah. Yep. All right. Sweet. Mission accomplished. Hopefully. That was a good find. <laughs> All right. Tuck her back in, James. All right. Go to sleep now. You've been asleep for over 15 years now. Probably longer than that. What are you doing over here, pops? I'm just looking to see what we got and what we don't got. This is the bracket that had the coil in it. Looks like it has a 
resistor on it resistor already. Resistor on it. I think that coal we brought has a resistor built in, so we don't need to go through that resistor. We'll just or else we won't it. have any spark. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Look what y'all found. Well, that should work. Get yeah. that off that other old Dodge. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um. So we just gotta get that coal over here and see what we can do. So we don't need this resistor anymore. Gotta go ahead and disconnect it. I'm gonna make a real quick adapter with the wires instead of just chopping this, just in case we want to put the resistor back on it later. So this is a short little section of wire. Don't take but five seconds. So now this one was plugged into the resistor. I can just put the spade in there. That spade's kind of loose. Let me give it a little bit of love. No, it's not loose. <laughs> Throw this on our positive side of the coil. Our negative sitting somewhere in there. We'll find it in a second. And then uh, we'll put that scavenge wire to the distributor cap. Get her grounded. Throw this little wire up in there. And then uh, hopefully she'll be spitting flames here soon. Who knows though? We still might have to go buy some spark plugs. Well, we don't know. We haven't, we don't know if we can get fuel through that carburetor or not yet. Yeah, but cleaning a carburetor is pretty easy. We got an external tank, so we don't got to worry about the tank. It's going to work out all right, I think. Are we just going to see if we got spark first and then go to the carburetor? Yeah. Okay. The only thing left to check, it doesn't have spark after this is the points. So, well, let's get to it. All right. Oof. Yeah, that doesn't look too good. James, you want to get in the cab and turn her over? Yep. <laughs> no spark that I saw. Turn it over again, James. <laughs> Yeah, let's see if you have a good ground first. Is it lighting up? No. Oh. There. There we go. Alright, bad ground. Now I'll test the coil. Alright, we got we got we got power to the coil. So it might be our points or it might be our spark plugs. We got power on both sides of the coil, so you got the ignition on right now, right? Yeah. We've been working on this ignition system for a hot minute now, and uh, well, it's whooping our behind right now. The points were cleaned, uh, but all signs point to the points still being bad. So we're going to clean them once again, do a little bit better this time. And well, if we still don't have spark, it's something else. Uh, there's our points down there. It is not sparking across. When you open these up, they're supposed to spark. It's supposed to be a spark in between the points right there. When you open it up, you guys can see it'll spark to my screwdriver. Maybe you guys can't see, but there you go. It'll spark to my screwdriver, but it's not wanting to spark across these points. Probably what's happened is there's a lot of corrosion and stuff on these points, and uh, just not enough to jump the gap. Mmm, that shocked me. It's like little tickles up my arm when I hit it. Ow! Mmm! <laughs> That's why you don't use a metal file for it. Yeah, the old man makes too much sense. My arm was on your arm and I felt a little bit go through me a little. Y'all had a shocking experience together. It's very faintly. Ouchie. You can see right there where it nipped me. Where it arced through my hand to the fender. <laughs> Ow. Hey, man. If you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. It was funny the first time, but uh, we got gloves on now. It's arcing better than it was, but it's still not arcing good. We'll give it a shot like that. Definitely gonna have to do a little bit more. All right, moment of truth. James is getting in there. He's gonna turn it over for us. And, uh, gonna work. 
Dad's watching yeah. the spark plug. That's pretty, that's all right, spark. Not too bad. <laughs> yeah, a lot better than what we had. We had a spark? Yeah, we had a spark. Awesome. So cleaning it really helped a lot. Yeah, it was just them points. Even though we cleaned them once, they still weren't good. Yeah, but so. they still ain't good. If we drive this home, we might want to get a new set of points just because uh, cleaning really wasn't helping them that much. They were kind of arcing around the edges of the points, not in the middle. So They were probably just worn yep. and corroded. Well, if we got to come back for tires, uh, bring a set of points too. Might as well. Mm -hmm. Let's pour a little bit of gas down that carburetor and get moving, see what we got. Well, have we looked in there yet? Look at negative Nancy over here. Have we looked in there yet? Of course there we might, haven't. Of course we there might it. be a rat's <laughs> nest in there. there of course we haven't looked in the air cleaner. Who even does that? Thinking, yeah. Of course we just turn the motor over first and think later. Open up your gift. Opa, that's good. You've got to undo that clamp to get the air filter off. Well, the last bit of the air filter anyway. All right, is our choke stuck? No, it, it's open, it's not on. Can you close it? No, I think we need to disconnect this cable. Yeah, I think the, the cable's froze up and not the actual choke. Let's just pour a little bit of gas, turn her over, throw that spark plug back in. I mean, set it on fire, yeah. <laughs> well, we're gonna do something, hopefully. You reckon we could go highway speeds with this thing? Uh, <laughs> if the highway speeds are 25 or 30, maybe. I don't know. It's probably geared really low, I'm sure. This was a work truck. She's making us long... work for it. So, yes. she definitely is a work truck. <laughs> She's going to do the do here. So, we didn't really bring any bottles with us. So, got a bottle of Mountain Dew. She's going to ride the lightning. Get all that dew out. Give her the good stuff. Poke a hole in the lid with a knife and uh well should be good to go, should huh? Should be good to go. Multi-purpose test light. Maybe. Alright. Pull the gas off of me just in case. Rub a little bit. Wipe on it on me. Face. Yeah, so. wipe it all over all right. so. Wipe it all you ready, <laughs> Alright, moment of truth. Good? Go for it. Mm. Open up the throttle. Open up the throttle. Get in there. Step on the gas. The throttle ain't open. We ain't getting gas in it anyway, so. James is stepping on it. Is that cable free though? Are you stepping on it, James? You're stepping on the gas. Yeah. No, you aren't. There you go. Now turn it over. Uh, it's not coming back up. It's not open. That's all right. It doesn't need to come up. Right. Yeah, it's stuck open. Starter got a little stuck, but it's all right. She's old, but <laughs> you guys heard that. She definitely tried for us. Uh, I think if we take that carburetor off and clean it, she's going to fire right up for us. So I'm looking forward to it. All right, James, you want to reconnect that battery and see if she's still stuck? Just be ready to disconnect it real quick. It looks like it's stuck right now. Yeah. Can you not hit it up? There. Try connecting it now, James. It's connected. All okay, right. so. Yeah, it's just that. All right, let's spray some PB Blaster on all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, loosen her up a little bit. Give him some loose juice. 
like the old man said, grab some loose juice. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, old man, give her the loose juice. Well, while we wait on this battery to charge, what are you thinking right now? I'm thinking it's going to run. Now, I don't know if it's going to go down the highway or not. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done before that happens, but I think the engine's going to run. You know, then we got all the other stuff to look at, you know, cooling system, brakes. The brakes are the biggest thing. Tires are easy. We can get tires for it, but got to make sure we get them brakes freed up and working. I think if we get them brakes freed up today... I think uh, come back tomorrow, get some tires when it's not New Year's. Yeah. So, yeah, I think we can we can do something. I think. Oh uh, well, shoot, they're gonna know how long this took us if it's like a uh, February twelfth when this video comes out. I <laughs> <laughs> say New Year's, but uh, I'm hopeful, man. She looks good, man. She looked good driving down the highway. Tractor well, crane you know services. Thing about it, whatever you're doing on New Year's Day. That's a good sign of what you're going to be doing throughout the year. So if we're doing projects like this, that's going to be a good thing. Well, hopefully. And if we get this thing running, that's... That's, that's a good that's, omen for what's to come. Absolutely. Absolutely. Throttle is stuck too. Got some PB blaster on it. And uh, now it's all freed up. So press it, James. Honestly, that's good enough to go down I-4. I don't see any reason why not. I'd drive this baby 60 miles an hour right now. I'm ready. Okay, James and I will be behind you in the chase vehicle. Yeah. Way behind you. Way behind? Yeah, because this thing's going to be fast. <laughs> That's why. All right. Hopefully now, Mountain Dew and some choke. Hopefully the battery's got enough juice in it. Hopefully she's going to ride the lightning right here for us. Choker. Go for it, James. We need to quit messing with gas down the carburetor. She's definitely gonna run. We just gotta get gas to the carburetor. So I'm imagining this old girl's dirty, but uh, we also need to find the right thread size to get a nipple on that thing. And well, not a lot of places are open today. Well, we can take it off, take it with us. Yeah, but uh, you know I wanna see that girl <laughs> run today, so. Well, let's see what we can find. We might be able to find some parts here. It ain't here. dinner time yet, so we can keep holding her down. Carter Key lived. Oh, you... Are you serious? <laughs> 11 sixteenths? Yeah. Throttle's been disconnected. We're popping off this carburetor. Cleaner. And find some kind of nipple adapter right there for... And then uh, we'll set up a temporary tank and get her rolling. So we did bring a fuel pump and a boat fuel tank. So uh, we could drive this thing down the road if the brakes get unstuck. Good idea? Absolutely not. But, you know, trailer and a car just makes way too much sense in my opinion. What's going on, James? You got a oh, hand-tight wrench loose bolt over there? Yes, it is. This thing is fighting me the whole entire way. Hey, man, that's just what it is, man. Aha! Now it's loose and it's off. All right, here, let's lift her up. Here, it's still got some more threads, James. Well, we're going on a quick parts run. It's kind of a shot in the dark to see if a uh, parts house actually has what we need, just because the stuff we're working on is so old. If you go in a parts house and ask for a point file, they aren't gonna have it, you know? Rotor button, probably not gonna have it. How many people place in the rotor button, you know? But uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna take a shot at it. So hopefully we get what we need. If we don't, uh, we'll be back tomorrow. We got some shiny brand new spark plugs for this old gal. So, pop them bad boys in. James is cleaning up them points a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go clean out that carburetor and hopefully uh, she'll be cooking for us. These are the spark plugs that came out of it. Uh, we got one that we took to the parts house, but the rest of them, they actually don't look too bad. Got a little crud on this last one here. That's the, the farthest rear cylinder, but we got some new ones, so that should help out with our spark issue. And uh, I think it's going to run. Yeah. 
It's not too bad. There's some crud way up in there. These gaskets are in pretty good shape right now. So, uh, this carburetor is different than what I'm used to. But uh, they're all the same thing, just different shapes. Got a decent amount of crud up in there. Not too bad though, not too bad. All right, well, I just took this carburetor all apart and cleaned it. Uh, it was just kind of gunky. I didn't see any jets clogged. It probably would have probably would have started if we hooked the fuel tank up for, to it, but since we had to go to the parts house anyway and get a nipple to get some fuel line on it, uh, ended up working out anyway, so now it's clean. To the best of my ability, throttle's completely free. Choke's completely free. Hopefully she's gonna treat us right here. So I gotta lift it up to start the threads in there. This is our trusty tank. You might recognize it from Will It Start, John Deere Model B. Will it start from our club? <laughs> Will it start? <laughs> did we use it on the John Deere diesel? Yeah, we did that too. I think we used them on every single one. I don't even know what that tank came off of. It was one that I acquired. Can, you, can I get a flathead? Pretty please. All around it. Get that gas, James. Get that fire. Water burn. Oh. Mm. All right, you ready, James? Giving her some dew, choking her up. Give it to her. Need an opening? Go for it. close kick the starter out because she was turning over too fast so we're, we're getting there right. again? yeah let's give it to her gave her a little extra What are you thinking? Oh well, now we gotta throw her in drive. Well, just kidding, we gotta <laughs> get the water hose up to her now to keep her cool, so. Hopefully she ain't got no leaks. Check it out. Oh man, she's smoking too. First time in 40 years, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh man, just woke up from a nap. Long she's, nap. A long nap, but she's feeling good right now. I'm feeling good. We'll change that oil too. You know, uh, before we actually start driving her, but uh, I want to hear her run a little bit more, so we're gonna get some water in her. Start cooling this old girl down. Hopefully, she's got gonna flow this water through. But uh, I'm sure all the passengers are pretty rusty and everything. But hey, man, it's called will it start, not will it cool. So. Ooh, how bad was that? That's a little, a little yellow. <laughs> is it yellow from cooling or is it yellow from rust? I think it's just rust. I don't see it pouring out anywhere, do you? Nah, it's probably just evaporated from sitting there 40 years. Yucky.
it's on or no? No. There, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, the fan's gone. Some air in the tires. Let's put this coolant hose back on and get some air in the tires. All right. Whoa, we got lights. You got both of them? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. We got James airing up these tires. They're like basically bombs, 40 year old bombs. They were made in a bomb factory. Oh wow, look at that. That bad boy's standing up. Yeah, it's on bags. Fire man, rating. you're you're really confident in that tire, man. You're you're up and personal with it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that bravery or stupidity? A little bit of both? I think it's both. <laughs> Is it just me, Mr. Hubert, or uh are you a lot stronger now? You look a lot more muscular, man. Do I? Yeah. yeah rumor I mean, rumor has it that gym. you're the smallest guy at Stewart's garage right now, but you're you're working to be the biggest. I don't know, if you look at the farm all youtube channel please look look at it later on you can see the difference between me and brody's arms and yeah. how massive mine look compared to his oh yeah you watch that often to get an ego boost i do it's actually the background of my phone this one's still kind of got air in it maybe just top it off a little bit you know uh, which way you think is reverse i think i should just uh i think just try it to see if you can get it to bump either way you'll feel it That's the only gear it'll go in, so that's the gear we're going. <laughs> well, that narrows it down. Yeah, that makes it real easy for us. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Something's working, and I hear a click when we go down. All right. I wonder what that goes to. That's the turn signal, man. Don't forget, guys. Smile. We got her running. You just got to get her driving now. That's the hard part. All right. We're gonna give her the beans again.
clutch is stuck, I had to lift it up with my foot. When I lifted it up, I killed the engine because of them brakes. So uh, we're gonna give it another shot now, man. I really don't want to take apart every single brake drum and break them loose. Please, baby. And then the second I hit the throttle, it started to started go. So you think it was getting flooded? Yeah, but uh, them brakes are locked, locked up. So we're going to work on them anyway. Yeah, I dropped the clutch and uh, uh, I dropped it probably a little bit harder than I should have, but uh, it didn't want to do nothing. So you just gotta take the wheels off and beat the brakes loose. Is what it is. Well, we got this 70-something-year-old beast running. He's just sitting here, just a purring. Not moving yet, but in the next episode, we'll see us driving this bad boy down the road. Thank you all for watching. Please take care. See you guys on the next one. Uh-oh, Shaggy. Do it again. I don't think it's supposed to do that. I guess we got another problem.